What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Chaco Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm back with another video. Before I get into that video, I want to remind everyone that I leave a link to a different playlist in every description box. Take the time to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist out. Today, I'm back with another video. Today, I'm sharing how I make my thumbnails. An easy way to make thumbnails through YouTube without going through all the nonsense. I just noticed this procedure or this way to make thumbnails when I started making thumbnails on my iPad. Um, it's like every device, your iPad, your iPhone, uh, your desktop, everything has something special about it. And this is something I came across and it came in handy for me because everybody was telling me my thumbnail was looking better. Now I want to share that with y'all. As you see, I'm showing you from YouTube Studio app. You just click on your video like that. And you see up at the top, you see these three buttons, see the pencil, click the pencil, and it brings a video like this. You see this logo right here in the circle, click that logo, and it gives you options of thumbnails. It gives you three different thumbnails. You can have more, but I made three. You just type on the one you want. See, I'm using that one. I can tap on that one, or I can tap on that one. So I'm using the bag that went with the Walmart bag. Hit select, and then you hit save. And that's how you make a thumbnail. That's how you make a thumbnail on YouTube. Um, while you're recording your video, pause for 10 seconds at certain parts of which you want YouTube to use as a thumbnail. For a thumbnail, I just see I, I, I pause for 10 seconds in my blogs. And that gives you thumbnails. Now, on your YouTube shorts, I don't think you can make thumbnails. Nope, that you don't have that option to make thumbnails on your YouTube shorts. You can also make thumbnails on, you, on your live streams. Click the same pencil, and it shows the same logo. We can choose the different thumbnails. Okay. I like that, and I guess I'm going to go with, uh, since I'm just now seeing this, I'm going to choose a thumbnail for that live stream. Driving vibe with Raymond Taco Fever. I didn't know that. I can make thumbnails on my, on my YouTube lives. Okay. You know, just showing y'all knew where to make thumbnails, because... You know, I'm just going with whatever YouTube use for my thumbnails. Now I know that I can actually choose what I want YouTube to use for my thumbnails. I'm going to take full advantage. I want to show y'all one more time before I leave. Just go to YouTube Studio. As you can see, the screen is on YouTube Studio. I'm going to click on Walmart Hall. I'm going to click the little pencil. And you come to a screen like this. Click the little picture in it with the plus sign. Now you, and remember your video as you record, free pause for 10 seconds. Pause for at least 10 seconds. YouTube will take a thumbnail. We'll take a picture. All those pictures right here. See why I pause for 10 seconds? I can pick and choose which one I want to use for custom thumbnail. You can also create one right here, I think. Yep, create a thumbnail right there. But I'm going to go with this thumbnail. That way you, you hit custom thumbnail, you can choose a picture that's in your photo album to use as thumbnail. But I really use the ones I... When I pause for 10 seconds, this is when I chose to use. Hit select. Hit save. And that's how I make my thumbnails now on YouTube. Uh, for a shout out, my shout out video on the last Sunday, man. Y'all tell me in the comments, do y'all like that? Would y'all use it? What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. And I give you a shout out, my shout out video the last Sunday in May. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Make sure you turn on post with notifications that we'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, I do leave a link to a different playlist in every description box. Take the time to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist.